Hi, John Conley here. This video we're going to get into the Pro Tools Smart Tool. It's a very handy editing tool that um, that I use all the time. I've got a stereo audio file in here. Now I'm going to make a selection and I'm going to trim it. So this is a shortcut not related to Smart Tool, but Command T on a Mac will trim the top and the tail of that clip to my selection. And uh, now I have this audio file and I want to edit it a little bit. I'm going to take advantage of the Smart Tool. The Smart Tool can be found up here at the top section of the Pro Tools Edit window in the Tools area. And basically what it does is it combines well, three or four or more tools into one tool. So you don't have to constantly go up there and change tools all the time. It automatically changes to the tool you need based on where you put your cursor inside an audio clip. So if I put it, the cursor in the upper half of an audio clip, I get the selector tool, which is this tool right here. Go back to Smart Tool. I enable the Smart Tool by clicking on this bar over the top of the three tools, Trim, Selector, and Grabber Tool. Or I can also do it by hitting F7 and F8 on my keyboard simultaneously. The upper half is the Selector Tool. I can click and drag and make a selection or drop my cursor at any particular location, which will allow me to start playback from that spot. The lower half of the clip is the hand or the grabber tool which is this tool right here this will allow me to click and drag and move that clip anywhere i want to i can move it onto another track if i want to or forward or backwards in time either end of the clip is the bracket or the trim tool which is this tool right here enable smart tool again this allows me to trim up the front end of the clip showing or hiding more or less of the clip the back end of the clip it's also the trim tool now you'll notice it changes automatically so upper half of the clip is a selector tool lower half is the grabber tool either end is the trim tool and a couple extra tools if I go to the upper right corner it's the fade tool so I can click and drag and create a fade out or I can click and drag in the upper left corner to create a fade in and I can change the shape of that fade by putting the cursor on the fade type the fade curve and tweaking the the type of fade in or fade out it is very easy I can also scrub audio if I hold down the control key on my keyboard scrub audio so that's uh, oh one more thing too so if I have two uh, adjacent clips two clips side by side I'll just cut this in the middle if I put the cursor down to the lower right or lower left of the uh, uh, cut I can click and drag and create a crossfade and of course I can change the uh, crossfade type so that is the smart tool very handy tool one quick tip with this if you have um, a, an audio clip that you want to edit I suggest that you take advantage of the E sh keyboard shortcut and that is enabled when this little A to Z button is lit so it will allow me to make a selection hit the E key to blow that up and expand the track height zoom in and this is where the smart tool is very effective if I try to use it on a very um, zoomed out selection like this the smart tool can be a little bit cumbersome so make sure you um, make the clip that you're dealing with large by enlarging the track size all right smart tool